and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. So we continue looking on a new VU 11.5 and one of the biggest rework or addition it was done to the render stack so when you start working with this. So let's look on a closer and see some options. First we'll go to render stack options and so we'll go click on our render stack and right here we have it, our options so we'll open them you'll notice right here stack folder this kind of very nice option and we have it use it same stack for all scenery use a dedicated stack for the scenery or create a new stack for each new scene so this is uh, kind of nice because before you have different scenarios and they'll stack together and you need to clean up when you have it limited on the memory used so now you actually can modify like for example I'm saving on separate disk but you can also says use it uh, create stack for each new scenery so when you work on specific project it will automatically save them in this case you don't need clean up and if you want to go look and preview you can easy to do so this is a very nice option addition add quite a bit flexibility to now um, stacking options to your render stack Okay, so let's look on other options inside the render it's stacking and this is kind of um, a weighted option that will save a lot of time and work on render example right here I have it render and I'm going to just overall render this as the preview and next things um, if it's take long hours for your render you notice you maybe want to add some small piece what happened before you need to add it or you can do in Photoshop kind of and manage now this is all can be done inside the view okay so I'm going to example create another tree and I will just place this example right here up front and now I don't need render all scenery I'm just going to um, render select render areas and I want to be sure that all my tree is included and important also some of the shadows is included if it's with your lighting so we done render here now we can select our main render and click on merge render if you select first and click on merge it says cannot merge with anything so be sure you select your largest one first next we'll select merge and you can see because we have it one it's already applied and next we need to click merge button so it will merge them together right here you can see we have a two images kind of merged together the one thing what I says about shadows let's see as example I'm going and I'm clipping to the tree not paying attention to the shadows as example we'll go render okay next I'm selecting main image select button merge render our image and we click merge so let's look right now you can notice we're obviously clipping off the shadows so we even our image is blending properly with lighting everything but right here we start cutting off and this is what it actually does it's take the image we render and apply it is with the color and all is proper to the scenery with the uh, camera exposure and other things to our scenery as well other things you will notice if you use a wind or maybe other effect that is also may effect position like right here in this area you notice how it will change okay we also can go ahead and compare these two images you can see like around this area how the leaves change because the wind and if we have heavier wind your tree maybe change as well so just keep this in mind but overall right here again pay attention with shadows it's useful function it saves you a lot of time but it's take a little bit um kind of pay attention when you render in what options part you're rendering okay so let's look a little bit more other option was added it is if you go ahead and modify some settings on the camera you can always go back to your render options 
and for example if you say you know I don't like how it look right here this look better you can right click and you can reapply those camera settings to your currently so you can go back through your renders and go find the, the camera settings was better in our previous or apply to other ones you can always go right click on this image what you're selecting and reapply camera settings to the current camera so it's kind of helpful to roll back if you have some modifications on the camera and you like a previous render better okay and one more last addition to this was added it is mirrored the nice option about this when I render my scenery if you want to see some details or mistakes because how our vision work you can mirror and now you see your scenery in different views so you can maybe say oh lighting doesn't pop up it's more as a workflow and you notice every time when you work I do recommend for you kind of to flip the mirror because if it doesn't look good in a one side it's probably something wrong so if you flip it it's look good in both ways it's mean it's nice scenery however one limitation on this you cannot save as in mirror mode so it's always save this one but if you like your option as mirrored you can always mirror afterwards in post-production thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com